We're drilling on the uh, head roll juji, but with grabbing the leg. So you grab the arm and the leg and tie them up real well and roll them over. I first picked this up in Sambo, but this is very applicable to MMA or any, even Judo, even with pants. Anything without pants, uh, Jake rolled the wrong way, did a different thing there, but he actually he rolled it from a, hip, a different hip roll position. He didn't roll the wrong way, it worked for him. Um, so we're just kind of working on this where you come across and there you can see he hits his position. Dre grabs the leg, he rolls John over, and he finishes with the Jujigatami. So as Jake just showed, you can also do a hip roll Jujigatami, but it's, it's usually done with a head roll version. Bob's working it, he grabs, he rolls him over, see how he's grabbing over, and he controls. Uh, again, like I said, uh, I first saw this in Sambo because uh, we don't wear pants in Sambo, we wear singlets or shorts. So there's no pant leg to grab like is done was often done in Judo. And it's a very good position. Also, the top man, by doing this, prevents the bottom man from getting away because he's trapped both his arm and his leg and sets him up for the uh, Jujigatami. You can see Mike doing it here. Sets it up there. He grabs and grabs, rolls Bob over, and finishes it. So we're just drilling on this uh, right now. Doing. Uh, we'll come back here. Jake's actually going to do it. Okay, and Jake rolls it as a head roll version. He rolls him over, and he takes him down and controls them. And you see you don't have to let go of the leg to finish off a good arm lock there. You can just stretch it out very well. And um, it is the uh, pretty much a leg hook version. And again, uh, to plug my book because I'm a shameless capitalist, um, we uh, show this in uh, Jujigatami Encyclopedia. And this is a very good effective way of getting a guy rolling him over, getting him into Jujigatami. There you have it.